Hey guys, let's get ready together. It's going to be a chatty one because I want to talk about the 20 things I do not buy. So let me just start putting makeup onto my face. I already have my base on and I'm just going to be going in with my e.l.f. complexion brush and once again my Pony Effect Soul Palette. So first thing I do is always blush. So before I go into the 20 things I do not buy, which I already have like a small list here, uh, I just want to talk about motivation and I hope that you have the motivation to do things too because I really had to find the motivation to film this video today or uh, this is the first video but more of like to start filming today just had a lot of excuses like the upstairs neighbor they have upgraded now it's not just pounding the wall there's also like renovation which makes me very uh, what's the English word for it but the slang we use here is I feel very sad because I don't know when we can begin our renovation too on our own house and it's just there's like audio I'm trying to record here there's um, zoom audio for the kids going on the TV is going on and also my sister is having like some audio meeting so there's just a lot of sound going on but Singapore is going into phase 2 soon oh today today is the last day today they are going to phase 2 and then you know we are like been let out of the zoo, people can go out. Not like I would go out much, but I'm guessing mentally a lot of us will be able to feel a lot better because we are not cooked up inside. So yeah, it looks good. I kind of can see that mirror is kind of old already, so it's not the clearest anymore. So I'm kind of using the same thing for my face, but I have a new eyeshadow palette to play with. Now I'm just going to use the same brush again, and this one is just AOA Studio, and it's just F12. Pretty sure it was a powder brush, but I just use it for my bronzer. So let me begin on the 20 things. First thing I do not buy is a TV. So whenever people come to my, our house, my house, my husband and mine's house, they always like do a little ballerina spin around and then they go, huh, your living room doesn't have a TV. And it's just very shocking to them because that is the social norm. And yes, we do not have a TV, uh, but we have bought many TVs before. And it's not because we do not like TVs. We love watching TV, which is the reason why we do not have a TV at home. Because we can just veg out the whole day. Like, there was a period of time when my husband bought a... I can no longer remember the number behind it. PS something. PS3 or something like that. The PlayStation. And then he had this Hong Kong game where you're supposed to drive and like beat people up and something like that not sure the name of it but there was just a few days consecutively where he just played the whole day like he didn't even really sleep he would just play and wake up and then play again that was how obsessed he was and we just we absolutely love watching TV I'm not even looking at the mirror now I'm just going by like I guess there's some powder on my face and that's that and I love watching TV too I can just veg out the whole day for me it's kind of like the sound I like to just switch on the whole day and do you know how much electricity that consumes? I just like having like background sound and when we go out like courts or those shops that have TV, we just love staring at the screen. So we decided it is just not good for our productivity and we got rid of it. So there was, um, we had a few TVs and then we used them for exhibitions which is once in a while. And there was one day where he had to take the one from our house to go to expo with it. And then we just realized that we really should not have a TV. So now all the TVs are just inside the warehouse for when we need to use it for exhibitions. And also we watch, um, I watch Korean dramas and we watch a lot of YouTube and he watches stuff. Uh, everything we watch on our laptop so we don't really need a TV. And I can tell you that our productivity level has definitely gone up ever since we got rid of a TV. I think it's just in our blood. Like even my sister, when she watches TV, she cannot hear when you're calling out to her. And so it's the same for my niece. <laughs> so the second thing is I do not purchase coffee. And that is because I am kind of allergic to coffee. Uh, I can take caffeine but in very low dosage, which is why I drink like iced lemon tea in the mornings. But coffee gives me a giant headache and then I just, whenever, I can just smell the coffee everywhere and it makes me sick, makes me want to throw up and then gives me diarrhea and like stomach ache the entire day. <sighs> yeah, so I do not drink coffee anymore. And I used to love drinking coffee when I was young, so I think I kind of overdosed on it because I would even just eat the coffee powder because I loved it so much. 
then my body started rejecting it, I guess. Okay, next I'm going to use my contour brush, which is again from AOA Studio and it's just F19. This is so big, but I use it for contouring my nose because I have a big nose, so big on big, I guess it works. And I'm just gonna use my bronzer. I don't use like a cooler tone color, I don't really care. So the next thing is another thing that might sound a little bit strange, but once again, it's like social norm. Everybody has a vanity table, even if they you can hear the kids. Even if they don't have a vanity table, they have like a mirror and like drawers, uh, which is like serving as the vanity. And the one thing that I do not purchase is a vanity table. Even back when I was um, staying in um, our own Singapore house, I never had a vanity table. I just had like a mirror that I would just move it wherever. Then when we moved to Malaysia, I would just use any bathroom's mirror, whichever bathroom I choose that day. So that's one thing I do not I do not purchase and I do not think that I will purchase for the next house too. So the next thing is belts. Okay, so I do not put <laughs> trying to tick it because I always have a list and I always miss out one in between. So whatever I talk about I'll tick it. I do not purchase belts because I do not use them and if the shorts do not fit me or they are too loose for me, I pass them on. And if they don't fit me, my thinking is just why am I trying to make it work? I'll just pass it on. I won't bother using a belt which is why I hardly use any belts but I do have like pretty sure I decluttered all my belts and I left I left one that uh, that is probably I think I still have it yeah but I don't have it with me right now so I only have probably one belt in my possession just in case which means that I probably will declutter it one day too Okay, I'm going to go in with my highlight brush which is again from AOA Studio F17 and my new ooh, this very very shiny very reflective, the Milani Soft and Sultry Eyeshadow Palette. I've never tried Milani eyeshadows, I've only tried one thing from them which is a baked blush. So, so far I really like it and this is my first impression, first time using this. It is very reflective again but I think I might travel with this next time because the mirror is just so big and superb and it stands out by itself. Not like my Pony Effect one which doesn't stand out by itself which I've been trying to make work whenever I bring it with me. Oh, I can see everything. So I'm going to pick out one shade for my highlight and uh, yeah, I guess I can show you but hopefully it isn't like reflecting you too much. I'm just going to use the second top shade which is called Diamonds and Poles. Sounds like a good highlight and I'm going to force this brush in there. So I do not buy belts but I have that one last belt left which I haven't decluttered because it is very very difficult for me to find a belt that fits me. So which is part of the reason why. I don't know if I'm supposed to blow on that, but this is a lot of kickback. kickback. Uh, one of the reasons why last time I did not buy that much belts too, because it was just really difficult to find a belt that fits me. Next up, I do not buy exercise clothes. I know some people, they buy exercise clothes. Oh, it looks good. It looks more skin tone versus as silvery white inside the pan. So some people, they buy exercise clothes just to uh, wear them because they are comfortable. So. Um, that one I won't judge and some people they buy exercise clothes to uh, motivate themselves to exercise but uh, for me I, I don't think that's good enough an excuse for me to purchase exercise clothes because I have no use for them. Next up, I do not buy subscriptions. I think the most common one is Netflix but I do not buy Netflix because once again we don't have TV and also I do not use Netflix on my laptop and also any website subscription like my husband, he has those uh, for brain teasers uh, or like a website domain link or those I do not have. I cut out all of those because uh, I just did not want any recurring purchases that I wasn't even that aware of. But one thing that's a little bit difficult for me is beauty subscriptions because of the huge collection that I have. Uh, I mean, to me, I think it's huge. To other people, it might not be. I feel that I do not need any beauty subscriptions but I'm really tempted to buy like Ipsy, BoxyCharm. Sometimes I get look fantastic and I love the products and I use every single product, but I try not to uh, have an ongoing subscription for them. Another new product is the eyeshadow primer, which I'm going to open with you and I want to test it out to test it with the eyeshadow palette. So uh, yeah, I do not buy beauty subscription even though I'm tempted to because there's just a lot of little, little products that you might not use or you might not need all of them. Maybe one day in the future I might, but definitely not in the next three or five years. Yeah. 
So this is 9ml, which looks really small, but it is full. It's called 01 Nude. You are supposed to allow it to set for 30 seconds after that. Um, okay. So, oh, pretty good packaging. Gonna squeeze out. Did it say how much to squeeze out? No. <laughs> so I'm gonna squeeze out a tiny bit and test it. And then after that, I'm going to pass this on to my big sis because she uses like an expensive eyeshadow primer from Bobbi Brown and she always has that crease line. And I recommended this to her before because it's kind of those like YouTube put out. Oh, I didn't even blend out whatever sunblock I had, but whatever. And uh, I recommended this to her before because uh, I said, uh, I heard that it's highly rave, why don't you try it? And now I have it, so I'm going to pass it on to her to let her try too. Oh, it's very easy to spread. Nude, uh, I don't really see a, much of a color tint. I guess it's because it is my skin tone color. Next thing that I never ever bought before in my entire life is magazines. Like in the Look Fantastic uh, subscription box, you get an L magazine. And I always just chuck that out right away because I have no use for it. This is the amount I'm taking for one eye. And uh, I'm not spreading it under my eyelids. <laughs> on the lower lash line, which is where I put like a eyeliner anyway. So maybe I should try. Uh. Maybe I should try for this eye and spread it more. So I never ever buy magazines because now I know already, even when I get it free in the Look Fantastic box, I do not even bother to flip through it. It's just not me to sit there and flip through a magazine. Following that, more paper bags. I do not buy books. You can see the latest, um, I had like a thrifted book haul that we thrifted in Australia. And that one is actually my husband's and he will read those, I guess. If not, he will declutter it one day, but it's not like I purchase them. So I don't buy books because I don't like that you read it once and then it's just an item taking up the shelf space forever until you declutter it. I'd rather read online. Next up is notebooks. I used to love buying notebooks but now I do not buy any more notebooks because I still have them and I realize the speed that I go through them just does not justify me buying any notebooks. So that's one thing that I tried my best to cut and now I no longer buy any more notebooks. Okay, I kind of brought it down here because that is where my eyeliner will be and it, uh, this has a little bit of a line with my foundation which is powder foundation but uh, other than that, I think it's okay because usually you will apply it before your powder foundation and I never really put it up here because I have tiny eyes. The real test is yet to come and I will find my brush from Wet n Wild. I never really washed it uh, since the last time I used it but it looks pretty clean so I'm just going to take like a one shade and put it all over my eye as a base it's like the highlight is everywhere it went into every single powder because of how powdery it was I'm gonna use a pretty cool tone brown and I'm going to use the one called soft touch which is this one over here it's very cool tone next up I never ever buy oh I never buy stationery in terms of crafting like beautiful papers. I used to buy stickers though, but I stopped because I, I just wasn't using it that much. So that's one thing. Other than that, I never really bought like uh, cards or like ribbons or like those paper cutter which I used to love when I was young but never ever purchased. So that's one thing I do not buy. And then I also do not buy something for the house which is decoration like knickknacks. Oh, I absolutely detest knickknacks especially those that's just plain useless like you just put it there on the shelf because it looks pretty but it does no purpose and which actually applies to lego but um there's lego in my house because my husband loves lego and i do not buy any seasonal things like uh, uh easter or like christmas like we used to have a christmas tree and then we decluttered it we gave it away <laughs> So that's one seasonal thing gone and I probably do not even have any more. Okay, I'm gonna move it up here a little bit since I'm filming so you can't really see the colour also. I'm not even like going into the pan, I'm just like picking up whatever leftover powder there is. Uh, this is one of like the best seller but it is very very powdery and messy. But it goes on well so I guess it's just this shadow palette that will look messy after a while. So I have like a kind of something like a knickknack which is the Star Wars R2-D2 I think which we didn't even like purchase but that we got uh, when we were in Japan Disneyland 
was it Japan? Yeah, that was like how many years ago, and it came with like popcorn inside because we wanted to buy the popcorn, and let's see. Okay, I'm gonna use this like no name, brandless, uh, whatever eyeshadow travel brush, <laughs> and it's just gonna. I'm just gonna use it. Not the best brush, but okay. So taking that same brown cool tone shade, I'm just gonna go under the line under the line under eye and yeah oh so that one came with popcorn and then i brought it back and it's kind of functional because uh, i used it to put like a what's that called disposable cutleries you know when you eat and then you when you tap out you get like chopsticks and stuff spoons and forks okay next up i do not get nail services i did get it for uh, my wedding itself uh, because after that we were going on more than a month honeymoon so that I used it like I really really used my nails that way uh, but other than that I do not get nail services like manicure, pedicures I think that they are quite waste of time because they take so long to get on and I just do not find it like a treat to myself I find it tiring and also I don't get facial services I have like friends who they have like a facial services subscriptions like they go for like a face massage every month or a facial every month uh, which is what my mom used to do when I was young too but I don't like it so um, I don't have it anymore okay next up what should I use I am going to put a dark shadow here yes so I'm gonna use this dark thing which is called pretty sure it's called foxy lady is it no 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 no. it's called sweeter and chocolate so i'm going to use that shade here this one here okay so next up i do not get wrapping bag eh? wrapping paper um last time uh for christmas i think my sisters passed me some wrapping paper to wrap presents for their kids and then put it at my house uh, because they were coming over back when i still had the christmas tree and then i just uh, that was like the one time that I used wrapping paper and I hate using wrapping paper because after that you just throw it away instead I like to use wrapping bags if I don't have any wrapping bags then I'll use like paper bags or like prettier bags even when my friends came over and I decluttered some stuffs and gave them stuffs I also just used huh this is not blending right I also just used wrapping bags instead okay so this is like a cool tone palette which I'm not familiar with because all my palettes are warm tone so I always get a little bit scared when I'm playing with cool tone palettes um, like I'm not familiar with it so I'm gonna try my best to blend this out especially browns, they scare me but at least the formula is quite soft but this kind of looks a bit splotchy so I'm gonna use this very horrible brush to try and blend it out so I, I also think that it's a great idea to use the bags because after that they can reuse it next up, I do not buy plastic bags for rubbish bags instead Singapore is all we're reusing There's, you go to any Asian household they have a plastic bag full of plastic bags which are used as rubbish bags um, put in clothes uh, we don't really we're not like the Americans where we buy garbage bags next up I do not buy water bottles recently I bought some water bottles and I was so tempted those water bottles were for the nephews and niece I was so tempted to buy one for myself but I stopped myself again because I uh, I just do not need it. I have like a Yeti cup which I... My hands are like crossed. I have a Yeti cup which I love for use at home. And if I were to go out, I have an insulated marble bottle. I think it's the ages because of the powder. Like, um, it just doesn't mesh well. Hmm, but I fixed it. Okay, I'm just gonna bring this higher up a little bit. So I don't buy water bottles and also I don't buy those like um, one-time use bottles. I think you should just invest in one and that can last you like <laughs> six months to a year. DVDs and CDs, never understood why people buy that because we are in 2020 now. So I never purchased those but it seems like some Americans like to buy those. Um, when I was young, obviously like because that was like how many years ago 20 years ago we, we had dvds at home then we decluttered all of them when everything modernized Ooh, one thing that i dislike purchasing is newest electronics i've been using this camera for five years now there's hero 8 already i'm using a gopro and i'm still using hero 4 <laughs> and also my phone i've been using for the past four years okay i think it kind of works I, i'm just going to use my finger to go in with a 
shade from the middle to the front and I think that will just blend it a lot better because I'm not using the best brush so it's partly the brush's fault I'm going to use this cool tone one in the middle which is called uh, Come Heather Okay, so I don't like to buy new electronics because I don't like to learn new electronics, new technology and also they really do last a while so it's not like I'm rushing to buy the latest iPhone or the latest Samsung flip phone Okay, next up, that also applies to phone accessories Like recently I was tempted again because I helped my sister purchase some on Shopee and they are just so cheap honestly They're like 2 bucks, $1 plus $3 for like a furry adorable phone case that you will use like a couple times so I try not to buy any I tried to like I'm using this one and it's super dirty but it works and and this phone ring it's really great I've been using it for almost uh, seven no eight months so far so I don't want to be like those girls that buy like cute rubbery ones and then they change it out every few days Next up, I do not buy apps in the phone. I've paid for apps though, one time in my life, and it was some photography app. And that was simply because I've been using it for like um, years on like an iPhone. Yeah, and then when it went to Samsung phone, Android phone, it was like uh, you need to pay for it, which is really weird. So I paid for it and then after I never used it. So I never do like in-game purchases too. Oh, I blended it out with my finger and it looks a lot better now. This is taking a long time. I'm done with my 20 items, but I'm not even done with my eyes. So I'm going to go with my eyeliner and my mascaras because there's a combination of three here. And then I'll come back to you, talk to you guys. I like the eyeshadow look now because I've had time to slowly get used to it because I'm just a warm tone eyeshadow kind of person so this is like trying out cool tone eyeshadows I usually do like peachy corals which I'm comfortable with but this is fun to learn new things and also I have my eyeliner and mascara on which just makes me feel like it looks more complete <laughs> looks more familiar and more comfortable to me so they also actually sent over um, eyeshadow and eyeliner no eyeliner and mascara but I'm using my own now because I've opened this and they are not drying out at all and also I realized that I forgot to do my lower lash line which is what I'm going to do using this brush uh, which is once again a little travel brush <sighs> I do regret not bringing any brushes with me because I thought it was just going to be for two weeks away from home so I'm going to use this side for the uh, darker brown on the corner very very pigmented, the browns are very pigmented and I'm using the one called After Hours which is, and it's very like reflective which is this one over here I feel like because um, I'm not really using a cool, uh, warm tone eyeshadow palette so I'm taking a while to do my eyeshadow today Oh, that is good hmm, okay this is probably good for like travel and also I have like oh that's way too much I should have dusted it I have an eye eyeshadow palette from Ila Masca which uh, there's like four oh no there's like six shadows inside but I only use it for um, the white highlight and also the outer corner so this might become one of those Alright, so cleaning off, I'm going to go to this side, which is the smaller side, and I'm going to just use the shade that I use for my highlight, which I really like it. I think I much prefer their face products compared to their eye products. Maybe because if this was like an eyeshadow palette that's warm tone, maybe I would be all over it. Who knows? So I'm just using this part over here and like squinting a little bit to accentuate the eye bags or egos out, which is what they call it in Korean. Yeah, maybe a little bit more because it is a shimmer and I'm not taking any like the matte white base next to it so actually I was thinking of starting a eyeshadow palette bingo I think it's called palette bingo yeah which means that you use like a pre I think it's called random generator or there's like apps for it but probably you can just find like a random number generator online and then you pick five shadows I mean the generator picks for you and you have to use those shadows but this is like the only big eyeshadow palette that I have so I don't know if I'm brave enough to do it with a cool tone palette alright so I'm done with my eyes and I'm going to go in with the brow sculpting pencil it's called 03 medium brown mm -hmm. sounds very accurate 
I'm going to burst it open so that we can use it. I love that it comes with a spoolie because my other eyebrow pencil, which is from Etude House, the cap on the spoolie is dropping so I get irritated and then I don't use the spoolie part. <laughs> So this looks like a pretty decent cap. Hopefully it stays on unlike my Etude House one. That was difficult to get it out. Okay, so it says that it's a mechanical pencil. Hmm. La, 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 la. Did you hear that? It stays on. Let's use this. I haven't used a spoolie in like weeks because I was just angry with the other spoolie. Oh, it brushes out. I haven't brushed my eyebrows in a long while. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, wind this up. Oh, it's kind of strange. I, it's like a, you know, like the American style is a nap and then the Korean style is a triangle, but this is none of it. This is like in the middle of them. Oh, it's very dark, which is fine. We'll use the spoolie to brush it out. Oh, it's very, very, very pigmented. Oh, I feel like I drew it down a little bit because it's really hard to see. So what I do is I always only draw the outer and then I'll brush it out. Uh, and mix some colour to the inner part because the inner part does have like a darker black colour to the hairs I don't know why the colour just disappear on the outer parts okay I look like a gigantic mess in the mirror right now so I'm going to use this to brush it out and hopefully it looks cohesive so I don't know if I'm going to start the palette bingo I definitely want to I definitely want to do it with my warm tone eyeshadow palettes I know it's very noisy sorry Okay, I like how easily it brushed out, uh, but it is not really my correct shade. My shade is probably will not be a medium brown. This brown is a little bit reddish. My shade will probably be a grey brown instead. So, the formula seems nice because it brushed out easily, but the colour does not look that accurate. Let's wait for it to calm down a little bit since my skin gets easily red after I touch it. So hopefully after that it would not be that red, but it does not seem like the correct shade. Oh, but it looks like very easily blended. Oh, let's go on to lips in the meantime. You know, I can never understand why some eyeshadow brushes do not come with spoolie. So I'm going to be using this one from 3CE Star Nanda in the shade 115 Mused. Mused? Muse or M-U-S-S, -S, maybe they want to call it Mus. So I'm going to be using my finger instead because my lips have been really dry and every single one of my lipstick is matte. So I find that the best way for me to apply is to do, oh, I forgot to close it, is to dab it on instead of putting the entire lipstick and dragging my lips because they're just not happy already. I think this lip color will go very well with the eye look too because it is um, like a brown terracotta or like a brick. What's that word? You know there was a time when these Korean colors were very trendy, like a moody brick color. Yeah, so that is the release from back then. So which means I've had this for a while, and this is just like a tiny baby size. Um, but I have the full size of this shade, and I have like the other tiny baby sizes in other shades. Hopefully you can see the color. I'm just gonna do one last layer. So restaurants are able to uh, open for dine in, which is awesome, and also. Uh, apparently, my husband said that we should get the renovation quote this Sunday, which is just like two days later. So hopefully we can start our renovation soon. This goes well with the eye look because this kind of brings out the brown shade in the crease. So that is my final look. I hope you got ready to and be motivated to get stuff done. And hopefully everything gets better for everyone. Let us take a close look at our eyebrows. It still looks a little bit reddish. So definitely I don't think that uh, this is the correct shade for me. But the uh, formula looks good. And then this one seems pretty good. Uh, but I've only used it like 30 minutes ago. No, actually I applied this on my eyes maybe like 45 minutes ago. So far there's no smudging. And I can see the shadows very well. I do like the shadows. It's just that it's very unfamiliar to me because it's cool toned. And this one I'm going to pass it on to my sister and then I'll update you after she uses it and see if she likes it too. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!